anything is possible in our lives. On the 18th of November 1995, just two and a half years after I had my car crash in which poor Emma lost her life, Carmen, our beautiful youngest daughter, was killed in a car crash. Carmen had had a license for just three months. And guys, how can this happen to us after something so tragic had already happened. I'm now going to tell you about this horrible Saturday morning, the Saturday morning that destroyed our lives. Michelle was an apprentice hairdresser and Michelle had to get up and get ready to go into work. Normally of a Saturday morning, Carmen would sleep in until about 11 o'clock. She'd get up in time to get ready and go and play tennis. Michelle went down into the kitchen and this particular Saturday morning, here was Carmen already up, fully dressed, sitting at the kitchen table. She had her arms on the table like that and she had her head in her arms and she was asleep. Michelle got a real shock and she said, Carmen, what are you doing up? What had happened the night before Carmen's very best friend, Carmen Trevine. This is Carmen Trevine and our Carmen. This photo was taken when they were both 18 years old. Carmen Trevine had come out and stayed the night like she had done so many times, hundreds of times after school. These two Carmens were the very best of best friends. Carmen Trevine, also 18 years and three months, hadn't even started to learn to drive, but she had to work part time at McDonald's of a weekend. So our Carmen had to run Carmen Trevine into work. Just then Carmen Trevine walked into the kitchen and she said, come on Carmen, let's go. So the two Carmens went out to the car, but Michelle went out to the car with them. When they got to the car, Michelle said, Carmen, you're tired. Wind the window down, turn the wireless up, you'll be right mate, I'll catch you later. And she gave her a big thumbs up. I was getting dressed in the bedroom and I heard Carmen too that she went out the front gate there to drive into Bendigo, the 20 minute drive into Bendigo and then 20 minutes home. All our girls always gave us a toot as they left home. Michelle went back inside, got herself ready for work and 45 minutes later, Michelle headed off into Bendigo. I can tell you exactly what Michelle thought, what she went through and what she felt that morning because for two years, Michelle was so brave that she gave this part of the presentation at schools for me. Up until she had her first child, Jada, our first grandchild. Michelle got into her car and she, when she got in her car, she thought to herself, I would have expected Carmen home by now. She drove out the gate, gave us a toot, drove down to McIver Highway to the T intersection where you turn right to go into Bendigo. When she stopped at the stop sign and looked right towards Bendigo, she couldn't see a car coming. And she said her heart nearly stopped. She thought, where's Carmen? I should be seeing Carmen by now. She turned right and started driving in towards Bendigo. As she was driving along, there were still no cars coming. Now her heart was racing. She said she was feeling sick she knew something was wrong. She felt like vomiting because she knew whatever it was, it was to do with Carmen. She just felt that in her heart. As she came over a rise, this is what Michelle found. Can you believe that at seven minutes past eight on this beautiful Saturday morning, after dropping Carmen Trevine off at McDonald's, thank God, Carmen went to sleep at the wheel at a hundred kilometers an hour and she crashed into this tree not with the bonnet not with the boot of the car but exactly with the driver's side door and Carmen was killed instantly Michelle pulled over she went running towards the car 